Hey, Johnny Red here. Over this past weekend, October 17th and 18th, there was a free speech rally in San Francisco. As usual, there was violence directed against the free speech group, especially its organizer, Philip Anderson, who was punched in the mouth twice, knocking out two teeth. This first clip shows the attack. There's the guy in the white shirt, Philip Anderson. He's the organizer of this free speech rally. He looks pretty peaceful. If someone comes up from the left side, you'll see it here in a second. There it is. And this is this guy in the black box. There he is, in the black uniform and the mask. And it looks like he's getting ready to try to do something again. And he does. He punches him again. Yeah, here it is in slow motion, okay. Ooh, there it is. Mm. That is a bad punch. That's I don't know which punch knocked out his teeth, but he ended up having two teeth knocked out. And he's not a fighter, obviously. He's not trying to fight back. The sad part about this is, no police were around, no arrests were made in any of this. Alright, so we got the sound again. Well, there was about 200 counter-protesters and only about 15 protesters. It all went down at Civic Center earlier this afternoon with protesters... Here's a CBS report on it. ...through barricades, some throwing projectiles at police. At least one person was injured and taken to the hospital. KPIX 5 reporter Da Lin is live at the Civic Center with more on the protest and counter-protest. Da. That's right, Julia. Trump supporters held the rally, a free speech rally at the U.N. Plaza this afternoon. Uh, problem was they were outnumbered by the counter protesters and some fights broke out. Do want to warn you some footage and a picture you're about to see are graphic. Paramedics took this man to San Francisco General with right leg injuries. Police formed a barrier to block roughly 200 counter protesters from trying to storm the stage. As Trump supporters were talking, counter protesters threw bottles and other items at them. Two of them were black men, which is always really confusing to see someone who's been brainwashed into that. When the large crowd became more agitated, the Trump supporters canceled the event. The Proud Boys were supposed to attend, but organizers say they didn't show up. As they were leaving, fights broke out. I was hoping there would at least be, like, someone who was... Well, they certainly picked an Antifa sympathizer <laughs> here to <laughs> interview. And let her give her opinion. Organizers say the event was meant to protest against Twitter for banning certain tweets. The lead organizer. There's Anderson with his one tooth gone and the other one dangling. Others said they were punched. All dressed in black. I think he might be Black Lives Matter. This guy was knocked to the ground too, but I guess he's not injured. The security not, guards not seriously. ran him off and they told us to go over here. Some counter protesters say violence is wrong and voting is the best way to fight back. Yeah, a counter protester says violence is wrong. It's not enough to cause it to stop. Anything that just hurts our cause. It does hurt your cause. We did not see any arrests, and the San Francisco no police arrests. have not gotten back to us on any official arrest or injury numbers. Why did you come here? The whole point right here, we don't have the right to peacefully protest, obviously, okay? We don't have the right to free speech, and that's a fact. We don't have our First Amendment right. We don't have the right to peacefully protest, and that means we're no longer Americans. One of my teeth was knocked out, and then the other one was, like, dangling, and they had to uh, put shots in my mouth, and then they pulled that tooth. It hurt kind of bad, pretty bad, honestly. And um, they told me that the teeth, you know, you can't put them back in. You're going to have to get a replacement. The worst part is... So crazy. I'm an actual victim. If I were a Democrat right now, 
Instagram, Twitter, Facebook would be boosting me. I'd be the next Black Lives Matter martyr. Yep. Black man gets sent to the hospital, gets sucker punched two times in the mouth, gets his teeth knocked out. But just because I'm a Republican, you want to know what happens? They immediately ban me. They knock out my front teeth, and then they ban me on Instagram. And then they put me on a ban on Facebook temporarily. Also, he was banned on they Twitter. They ban my Instagram account because I have 50,000 followers on there. This is not right. It's unfair. I'm a victim, obviously. Why are you banning me? I didn't do anything wrong. You can't even tell me what I did wrong, and you ban me. This is why we had a free speech rally in the first place. This is why we're protesting big tech in the first place. It's not a feeling. We don't just think that what you're doing is wrong, big tech. We know. We see you do this every single day. It's a political agenda. And it's not your place to have political agendas. You're supposed to be a neutral platform. But like always, you mess with me. Even though I'm an American and I have the right to free speech, I have the right to peaceful protest. Once again, you show me that you are completely against my right to free speech. You are completely against my right to peacefully protest. And I'll probably be banned off Twitter by tomorrow morning. Because that's what these people do. These people believe that you're slaves. Complete slaves. They don't believe that you have the right to be heard. They don't believe that you have the right to be seen. You can only be heard, you can only be seen by other people if you say and do what they want you to do. And that's the issue right there. These people are total Nazis, bro. These people are total communists. Communists, okay? They're telling you that you're not allowed to have an idea. And if you're able to spread that idea to other people and prove that that's the right way to go, the right way to bring this country together with freedom and free speech, and equality for all, guess what? They will immediately ban you. That's what they just did to me. Don't let them get away with it. Spread the word. Spread the word. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Here's another report, ABC7. Let's see if this is any different. There's the punch. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Dion Lin. Some well-known conservative personalities were on the agenda to speak at that rally today, but organizers canceled the event. Well, organizers didn't cancel it. The police canceled it. Several people participating in the rally were injured, as well as three officers, when they were sprayed with pepper spray. A warning now, some may find the following video disturbing. A witness captured the Here's another angle of the, of the punch. Rally the organizer side. Philip Anderson before his speech. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard has a look at how things quickly escalated. No Nazis, no KKK, no fascist USA. A large crowd of demonstrators gathered at UN Plaza to oppose a small group holding what was billed as a free speech rally, protesting what they say is Twitter's censorship of some of its content. They have no business being here. The rally was granted a permit from the city. Some of the speakers expected included well-known President Trump supporters and conservative right personalities, but most never got the chance to be heard. Tensions quickly escalated. Counter demonstrators taunted police. Sky 7 was overhead as some kicked barricades. Police wearing riot gear tried to protect the speakers from the crowd, but many threw bottles at the stage and shouted down the speaker. Unfortunately, they were successful at shutting down this, this event, and um, no arrests were made. I, I hope that guy that punched him at least gets uh, charged with something, uh, you know, aggravated assault probably. Uh, he doesn't deserve to be on the street. Because he'll just do it again. Oh well, that's about it for now. See you on another video whenever something comes up. Alright, bye now.